Hey headphone people, Mr. Eric here. Got another headphone review for you today. This one is the Focal Clear MG. Now I did purchase these, or rather I actually traded my Aeolus for them. So the Aeolus has, has since moved on. I um, did enjoy the Aeolus quite a bit, but ultimately I thought it was enough money invested and I wasn't listening to it just compared to my uh, HE6 and actually my Alex, um, I just was listening to and enjoying more. So what I wanted to know is again, I'm kind of coming off that Utopia review, really enjoying the Focal sound. And um, I was just curious what this one would offer. So let's open her up, we'll see what we get. And then we'll talk about uh, the build and the sound. All right, so Focal packaging, you know, it's beautiful. It, it comes in just a really nice little setup here. Nice case. Um, this one has, you know, kind of that brown colorway that this new ClearMG is going with. And then uh, inside it comes with this nice little folio here that has the cables in it. So just, just like all Focal stuff, you know, just a great presentation here um, when you're doing the unboxing, really enjoyable. Now, uh, as far as uh, cables go, these are some of the better, uh, I think, Focal cables that I've used. They're not nearly as squared off or, you know, they, they, they're just easier to work with than like the, the Alex cable um, that I have. You've got a four pin balanced and this one's maybe, it's a little bit longer, maybe like seven, eight feet long. And then you've got a, just a, a 3.5 with a quarter inch adapter here. And that one is pretty short. It's maybe four feet or maybe even less than that. So um, I, I've got other cables that have this, like a heart system or high five min cables or whatever. So I, I got lots of cables. So I'm just leaving those in the package and, and I'll just use my other ones rather than getting those out, but I, di I did use those a little bit, but I ended up just packing them away. So they, they're fine, you know, no worries there. You, it's They're nice, but ultimately I always think just like a heart system just works a little bit better. And and these are a headphone too that can be driven um, very easily off of just about anything. So I like the heart system because I can switch and go 2.5 balance with my X can on them, which is nice. Okay, so uh, unboxing experience, you know, really nice Focal. It's always good. The case, I really like these cases. They're small, they're tough. Um, you know, they just, they're easy to toss in somewhere. They've got room in there that you could drop a portable player or something and your cables and all that. Uh, it This all matches really nicely with this colorway of this new uh, Clear MG. So all, the case and all that stuff looks great. I have to say, um, you know, these headphones, they look impressive when you see photos of them online and stuff like that. But really, when you get your hands on them, I mean, they are just, just beautiful headphones. The way they have the the grill set up on these new Focals is, I don't know, it's, it's quite beautiful. They're really stunning to look at. And, you know, with Focal stuff, I always feel like the colors in photos i'm kind of like ah, i don't really like it but then once i get them and this was the same way with the clear pro um it's like i didn't really like the red but once i got it i liked it and kind of like this you know this brown tannish color um i i didn't really like it in photos but then now that i've got it and i see it in person it does look like really nice like it looks good it's it's a beautiful beautiful headphone probably I, I mean, arguably, it's the it's the most beautiful headphone that I've owned at this point. I mean, I think the Aeolus is right up there, but they're kind of different looks and feels. Um, but, you know, just, yeah, great, just gorgeous, gorgeous headphone. Um, you know, outside of that, the build, you know, it's, it's just a Focal, right? So all the same build qualities on something like an Alex, like it's basically exactly the same. Form factor, headband, all that stuff feels all to me very, very, very similar um, build quality wise. So I think, you know, it's it's nice. I don't really have any uh, complaints about it. I mean, it's, it's great. You know, it's got the springy cups on it. And I mean, it, the bottom line is really, if it's like a Focal, it, it, it's finished like a Focal. So 
if you've liked Focal stuff in the past, then this is more of the same. If you didn't like Focal stuff in the past, the way it fits or, or anything like that, or the clamp or anything, um, then it's pro it's gonna be more of the same here. Me personally, I really love the fit and finish of Focal headphones. They fit my head great. I can wear them endlessly. I, I never run into problems comfort wise um, for me. So I love them. I think they're great. I think they're beautiful. I've probably said enough about that at this point in time. So uh, we'll move on to sound here. And you know, the sound of the MG is, is pretty interesting. I thought the Clear Pro, the OG Clear Pro, which I reviewed and I'll link to that down below. I thought for me, it felt like just a, just very neutral sound, you know, crystal clear, all the detail was there. Um, but it was, it, it was kind of a flat response, I would, I would say. I was quite shocked to find that the MGs here don't really share that characteristic. Um, they are a pretty exciting headphone uh, to listen to. They are not a flat response headphone, I would not say. Lots of bass, uh, of course they've got those kind of that what you the focal dynamic stuff going on so big slam um, but these guys they also I feel like play with the frequency response a little bit to where they're not just really flat the way the old clears the OG clears I, I felt like were pretty linear and flat and and quite good in that regard these guys I feel like they do they play around with the frequency response a little bit specifically I feel like there's quite a boost um, in the upper mids to bring a lot of energy to that region and then I feel like it kind of dips a little bit and then comes back up in the higher uh, treble frequencies at least that's what it that's my impression of the sound I haven't looked at frequency response graphs or you know measured it or anything like that I'm just going based off of what I hear but to me what's happening is it, I, I feel like it becomes kind of less of a complete sound and it's exciting and there's a lot going on and you can hear the details but ultimately for me i feel like some of the more nuanced uh passages within songs they just they kind of get lost in the energy of the mg where you know i've been going back and forth a lot with the Alex here and and I've kind of decided that I like the Alex best with these fenestrated these Dakoni fenestrated pads on them the the sheepskin fenestrated pads I'm I'm really enjoying the Alex with these with these pads on this headphone it's uh, very very linear it takes away the bass emphasis um, it takes some of the sparkle off the highs but what that does is that just allows me to really dive into the music and I feel like I get you know a nice accurate picture of everything going on and I pick I just pick up the nuances better on the Alex with these uh, fenestrated pads than I do the clear MG with um, the stock pads or even I do have you know another set of the Dakoni fenestrated pads here and I tried the clear MG with these two and I do like them better with these on it because it does tame some of that stuff a little bit but uh, I think I think I still give it to the Alex, uh, honestly. The one area, the one area that I think the Clear MG does do a little bit better with is because of the way it's it's kind of playing with the frequency of the middle, um, you know, the mid range. I do feel like it comes off a bit richer, whereas the Alex at times can come off a little bit thin. But I feel like I've kind of settled into that at this point and. Um, it really doesn't bother me at, at all anymore. Whereas at one point it kind of did. What happened to me with, with the Clear MG is immediately I thought I liked it better. And I was into it and I said, oh man, like this thing is, is really fun and, and exciting to listen to. Well, as time went on, it started to wear on me a little bit and I found it a bit fatiguing, uh, to be honest with you. So I... You know, I, I'm struggling with it. And it, as beautiful as a headphone as it is, 
and it obviously is technically capable. I just ultimately feel like the frequency response isn't tuned quite right, which surprises me because I feel like it's a departure from the previous generation of the clear. So I, I think it's interesting that they would take it, you know, kind of in another direction after that headphone had so much success, you would think that they would just refine it a little bit if they were going to release, you know, another iteration of that headphone. But I don't really feel like that's what's happened here. Um, I feel like, again, the frequency response is a little more fun. They played with it a little bit more, but uh, in my mind, it's, it's really to a detriment. Um, unfortunately. So I, I mean, I, I feels weird saying that about an $1,100 headphone, you would think it would be a rock star all around. And I definitely could see a lot of people enjoying this headphone and maybe preferring it over like the Alex or the OG clears if they were looking for a little bit richer, a little bit more exciting, uh, frequency response. But, um, I guess it's just not tripping my trigger, uh, ultimately is what it comes down to. So for me, I'm looking at things as always from a value perspective. And, um, you know, I, I mean, I traded a headphone that's about a thousand dollars equivalent for the clear MG, but you know, my Alex, I bought this thing for like 350 bucks and I just, for $350, man, this is very, very difficult to beat. Um, I feel like it competes with with most things fairly well. I mean, there's better stuff out there and it's, it's not what the Utopia was, but for $350, it's hard to beat, hard to beat at that price. Um, ultimately for me, uh, kind of the decision I've made is like, I feel like I want the Alex around just as kind of like a reference point and just because I'm enjoying it so much, and although I could see at times reaching for the clear MG, I just can't justify it at the, you know, the amount of money that I have invested in it. I'd much rather free that money up and, um, you know, continue to explore some other things. Specifically, I'm interested in trying a higher end tube amp just because I'm loving the bottlehead crack so much. So I think, um, yeah, I'm going to send the MG on its way and I'm going to look uh, for a nice tube amp to replace it and to try with some of the other stuff that I've got on hand. So kind of surprising outcome for me, but that's, uh, that's ultimately what I found out with the clear MG and yeah, I, I, I don't know what, have you heard both? Uh, you have the clear MG. How do you feel like it stacks up against the other Focal stuff? Um, how do you feel like it stacks up against the OG clears? Have you heard them both? Do you feel like I'm off base here or do you agree? I think any any comments like that would be helpful for other people that are kind of watching this video and trying to make a decision. So if you have some sort of input, um, please drop that down below to help the community out. I would very much appreciate that. And as always, I appreciate your time. I appreciate you being here. If you're interested in more headphone reviews, headphone related content, headphone gear related content, um, then consider subscribing to the channel and sticking around because I'll have lots more of that to come. So uh, hopefully I will see you in the next one. Appreciate it.